if you never fought in your relationship, but then you still broke up, and when your ex broke up with you, they told you all these reasons that you never heard before in the past, you and your ex have the following two attachment styles that you need to know. Hey, I'm Coach Benny, and I help people get their exes back. And for five years, I was a dating coach where I had to pay attention to attraction. So how do we bring somebody else in, including your ex? Now, when you get two people who aren't fighting for months or years on end, by the way, nobody fights in the honeymoon phase. First four to six months, nobody really ever is fighting. But you start going months beyond that, and even years beyond that, and you're hardly ever fighting, big red flag. Now, obviously, when you're secure, you know, you shouldn't be, like, freaking out and going nuts and all this stuff, right? That, as we think, like, a toxic fight might look like. But there's going to be a lot of conflict in relationships over time because there's major issues that you need to solve between you two, no matter how awesome both of you are. So what I see when there's usually two people that never fight, it's the following dynamic. The first person doesn't have energy for conflict in general. When there is conflict and it gets heated, they're either going to shut down or they're going to just run away. They don't have the energy for it or the capacity. Now, the other person can bring up issues. They do have a little bit of capacity for conflict. However, they're very scared to lose that other person. So they'll bring things up sometimes, but they'll just drop it just to please the other person just to make sure that they don't lose them. So as you're watching this video, you can kind of think about, okay, which one of these roles am I filling if we literally never fought? I'm willing to bet that if you're watching this Get Your Ex Back video, it's probably the second one. And the second one is the anxious preoccupied attachment style. And that attachment style is one that you know, experienced abandonment in childhood or intermittent reinforcement. In other words, a parent was sort of hot and cold and it created this anxiety in you that makes you fear abandonment. So you can start conflict, you can bring things up, you know, sp speak about your needs because you had some attunement to, you know, the parent that was at least hot sometimes, okay? But you're so afraid of abandonment, uh, excuse me, abandonment that you're not really going to stick to your guns in conflict. And willing to bet that the first person I mentioned, the person that just avoids conflict in general, doesn't have the energy for it, is probably your ex. They're the ones that don't communicate with you throughout the whole course of the relationship, and then they'll break up with you out of the blue, give you this laundry list of reasons, if they do give you reasons, that is. And none of them are really going to make sense or be things that you've ever heard before because they kept them to themselves, right? They didn't communicate with you, and then they let it get to the point where they want to break up with you. Now, you can have a healthy relationship with somebody like this, but you need to re-attract them first. So if you want my help doing that, you can click into the profile, click the link down here, set up a call with me, and I want to hear your story. We'll talk about how to get them back. And then once you do get them back, what can you do from there to ensure that your conflict doesn't derail your relationship into the future?